Welcome back everybody to another video from Jojo's Drawing Video. I'm your host Zico. Today's video will be talking about Hirohiko's Araki's art reference. Uh, for those of you who don't know what is referencing art is, in visual arts using reference is, a, is the practice of discovering information in a photo or in real world object, person or location. This information is used to give artists better understanding of their subject and create a stronger sense of believability in the art that they're trying to create. So to simplify it more, it's gather information or build up a structure based on a real photo. So without having a reference, we don't know what shark would look like or we wouldn't have the believable poses we have. And what does it mean to reference somebody's art? References are something that all artists need to use as a guide, you know, it's a learning tool to help those to learn perspective to structure. Without reference, no one would know what a thing would look like or how to structure a beautiful pose or beautiful creatures or anything to craft their imagining. It's like a going to a shopping center where you gather all the information or all the ingredients you need in order to make your final dish or your final product. In this video, I'll be talking about Hirohiko's, Ara Hirohiko's Araki's uh, references in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. What's very cool about Hirohiko Araki's artwork is that the amount of references that he uses, starting from like the fashion, like studies of Terry Toy in New York 1963, Body Conscious, and Vogue magazine, you know, like covers, like for example, this one, which is a Japan cover, comes from 1980s by artist Antonio Lopez or Valentino, you know, 1983 as well by Tony Veramontes. And the list goes on and some comes from fashion magazine, some others comes from one of my favorite series of all time, which highly influenced part one of the series, which is Fist of the North Star or Hokuto no Kin. And the cool thing about the structure is it's it's very much simple, you know, it's to have a reference doesn't mean copying somebody's idea, but it's to make your own ideas using the structure. It's like, for example, we don't know what's like building a house without knowing how to put the foundation for uh, a house in order to establish a different kind of house. You know, you don't necessarily need to copy somebody's uh, build up exact same thing, but it's just like you need to find the fundamentals the structure and perspective in order to shape your final product and Without further ado to help everybody understand how to use their own reference just like a Rocky or just like any artist Which is as I said a basic thing that we all need to use in order to learn We're gonna dive, dive deep down into this subject. So grab your pencils and or your digital tablet and let's draw together so in the first example here uh, I will use several references from Hirohiko's Araki's book and this is a video I've already pre-recorded while studying for uh, like my own art personal like studies and as you see in this video I'm breaking down everything to its most basic fundamental form you know which is like stick figure and I try to match it with the reference to see to show you deeply what is the main structure of the pose or how Araki uses references to create establish the beautiful poses he does with the characters. What I personally believe is that Araki uses his characters as fashion models and he asked them like, could you do this pose for me? Like he trying to make them pose in a very fashionable way. Sometimes like he uses references to make outfits for his own character just like Apakio. As you see here, this, this is the original reference that I found of the outfit that he wears in part, I believe, I think part five as well, Ventorio. And, and as I'm going to go in a better form than this, and I'm, I think to make it real and make it better, I will do my own reference right now instead of showing you guys a pre-recorded video. So let's do it. So in this first example right here, we have two different, we have a picture here of Hirohiko's Araki's art book for Stardust Crusaders. And on the other hand, we have the original reference where it's originated from. And I will explain deeply what I meant by with breaking down everything to its most fundamental form. 
So, I will go with the same stick figure that I've mentioned with doing the work and we're gonna try to break down everything. The most cool thing about this is that you have to have a very good understanding of human anatomy when it comes to drawing, you know. So here, this part, I'm gonna draw this line, which represents the spinal bone. And as you see here, both sides are completely matched. And these dots right here represent the joint parts in the body, or let's say, uh, I think if I'm not wrong, I think the the articulation, let's call it. And this part right here represents the hips. And if you notice here, it's a, almost a similar match between both sides, between the reference and between the like between the art and between the original reference. Excuse me, right here, I made a little mistake, you know. Because as you see, I already have a very good understanding of anatomy as an artist, and that's something very much necessary in order, like, to have your own fictional character created. You need to have a very good understanding of anatomy, a little bit of realism, a bit of surrealism with this, you know. It's a mix of both words. And it's almost as exact same match between the poses. You know, that's how you use a reference, as I explained. It's just like a gathering some information, you know. You have here a drawing of Abdul, which poses in a similar fashion as this character. There's a little bit difference, because here he doesn't grab the hips, you know, as on, on the other side. But it's almost similar because it's just gathering information you know in order to make some cool art you know this is here the first example and we i have another example right here which is a little bit different here with jolene and and when i do study references i do the exact same thing i break everything to its most fundamental form and same thing we do the joints we mark them and this is represent the head part and this represent the spine you know this is like the spine you see the same thing apply for both poses and you notice as well the outfit are a little bit matching there's some inspiration you know behind it because that's the cool thing about having references it doesn't mean copying and you have to always avoid copying if you want to advance as an artist but you need to have a lot of vision, a lot of uh, information behind, you know, in order to get your character, you know, your own character well established, you know, because we need sometimes to grab some inspiration from elsewhere, you know. So that's what I meant. But I'll give you a nice final example before we move for to the final video of what I drew. And I have the last example right here, which is a drawing of Dio and its original reference as well. Uh, sorry about that, this is another drawing I did that I will show you at the end, you know. And, and if you notice here, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but here it's more of a close-up drawing, you know. It's the hand movement, what Iraq is trying to pull So as you see right here, you know, hold on, uh, I'm not very much used to the tablet, you know, not very much used to it. I usually draw traditionally, so it's a bit tough for me to like keep a hold of things. You know. This is for the face. You see, it's like both on an almost similar level a little bit. And now I'm going to try to make it smaller you know, the marks, so I can see it. And here we're gonna try to trace the fingers a bit, you know. And here you go. This is represent the fingers right here. They are a bit, I would say, 
they're posing in the exact same way you know there's a little bit different you know not very much because basically having uh, having references means like building your own information your own original character from ideas you know from elsewhere it's not copying you know and that's why exactly i meant by when it comes to like drawing reference so here you go i hope this video helped everybody and i will leave you guys with a recording of my own personal study of doing reference using my personal favorite artist uh, as for before I go, I have listed list of references that I personally use and I've done some research You know, there are some of them are fashion books some of them like my favorite artists Like things that can help you with creating beautiful dynamic poses, you know and beautiful looking characters as well because my favorite art artist myself when it comes to Beautiful dynamic poses would be Frank Frazetta. You should check him out wonderful beautiful pieces of artwork a beautiful composition of colors completely different from Araki but the whole point is to achieve a beautiful dynamic pose and in the future hopefully I'll be planning like with more advanced studies I'll be planning another video where I will be teaching hopefully how to draw dynamic poses not similar to Jojo but it's on the same flow as in the series I hope you all have a beautiful day and I'll see you in another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any question, leave, leave it in the comments below. This is Zico, and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.